Hello students, let us continue with the chemical properties of aldehydes. As you all know, the functional group of aldehyde is CH double bond O. Hence, aldehydes undergo different types of reactions, namely addition reactions, condensation reactions, oxidation reactions and special or named reactions. Let me start with the first set of reactions that is addition reactions. So here addition takes place across the carbonyl group. The first addition reaction is addition of hydrogen cyanide. The formula for hydrogen cyanide is HCN. The general formula of an aldehyde is RCHO. So if you look to the reaction equation there, aldehydes react with hydrogen cyanide HCN. C plus O minus is formed wherein O minus picks up H plus and C plus will pick up CN minus so that in the product you will get RCHOHCN. Such compounds wherein a hydroxy group OH and a cyano group CN are bonded to the same carbon atom are called as cyanohydrins. So aldehydes react with hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrins. O minus picks up H plus. This H plus is picked up by O minus so that this forms OH. Whereas CN minus forms bond with C plus so that the product will have the formula R, C, H, O, H and CN that is a cyanohydrin. For example, if you take acetaldehyde CH3 CHO and allow it to react with hydrogen cyanide HCN, the product formed will be acetaldehyde cyanohydrin CH3 CHOHCN. Both cyano and hydroxy group are bonded to the same carbon. The product formed is acetaldehyde cyanohydrin. Now the next addition reaction is addition of sodium bisulfite. Now this sodium bisulfite can also be called as sodium hydrogen sulfite. Both mean the same sodium bisulfite or sodium hydrogen sulfite. It is not sulfate students. Sulfite will be having SO3 group. So the formula for sodium bisulfite is NaHSO3. If you look to the formula there, it is NaHSO3, sodium bisulfite. Yes. The general formula of an aldehyde is RCHO. Aldehydes react with a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite. Saturated solution is one wherein no more solute dissolves in the solvent. So aldehydes react with a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite NaHSO3 to form bisulfite addition compounds which is nothing but a white crystalline precipitate. Look to the reaction equation there. Carbonyl group being polar forms C plus O minus and H plus is picked up by O minus so that you will get COH. Remaining SO3 Na will form bond with C plus as the arrow is indicated so as to form white crystalline precipitate of bisulfite addition compound. Now this bisulfite addition compound has the formula RCHOH SO3 Na. If you take once again acetaldehyde as an example CH3 CHO acetaldehyde yes adds on a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite NaH SO3 CH3 CHO plus NH SO3 the product formed will be CH3 CHOH SO3 Na that is acetaldehyde bisulfite which is a white crystalline precipitate. Now this is the second addition reaction. 
one more addition reaction of aldehydes that is addition of alcohols <coughs> addition of alcohols alcohols have the formula roh yes the formula is roh to distinguish between r and the r of aldehyde as well as alcohol i have indicated one as r the other as r dash now these aldehydes react with alcohols on passing dry hydrogen chloride gas if you look on the arrow there is hcl into brackets g is indicated which indicates it is a gas dry hydrogen chloride gas now the products formed are gem dialkoxy compounds i will just tell you what it is later on just look to the first step there r ch o aldehyde reacts with one molecule of an alcohol r dash oh carbonyl group being polar forms c plus o minus once again here r dash oh heterolytic bond fusion will form h plus proton and the alkoxy group alkoxy group is ro group this is the alkoxy group so here you will get h plus forming bond with o minus this becomes c single bond oh and here it will be c O R dash. This is the product form. It is called as a hemiacetal. R C H O H O R dash. Now this hemiacetal in turn reacts with another molecule of alcohol. Here it is. Another molecule of alcohol so that H plus and O H minus is eliminated as water. so oh h plus of another alcohol molecule and oh is eliminated as water and this or dash group forms bond here so that you will get get to alkoxy groups bonded to the same carbon and the product formed will be r c h o r dash o r dash it is a gem di alkoxy di alkoxy gem because it is bonded both are both the alkoxy groups are bonded to the same carbon atom therefore it is gem di alkoxy gem di alkoxy compound called as acetal a hemiacetal which is initially formed is indicated in the square bracket which has only one alkoxy group it is unstable it takes up the second molecule of alcohol to form a stable acetal therefore two molecules of an alcohol are required this is addition of alcohols to aldehydes so this is the first set of reactions addition reactions now coming to the second set of reactions they are nothing but the condensation reactions <clears throat> before going to the different condensation reactions there are four different condensation reactions you should know what is a condensation reaction a reaction wherein two or more reactant molecules combine a reaction wherein two or more reactant molecules combine to form to form the product molecule with the elimination of small molecules like water alcohol such reaction is called as a condensation reaction so here the by product obtained will be essentially water in most of the reactions rarely sometimes alcohol will also be eliminated as the by product but for you all for your syllabus whatever condensation reactions you will study the by product eliminated is water itself now the first condensation reaction is condensation of aldehydes with hydroxyl amine now you should know the formula of hydroxyl amine it is nh2oh nh2oh is called as hydroxyl amine <clears throat> aldehydes react with hydroxyl amine this is the first condensation reaction rcho aldehydes react with hydroxyl amine nh2oh so 
there will be elimination of water i have told h2 and o is eliminated as water so here is o here is h2 what remains will be r c h double bond continue it n o h now double bond n o h group is present in the compounds called as oxymes they are called as oxymes hence aldehydes react with hydroxylamine nh2 oh so as to eliminate o and h2 product formed will be r c h double bond n single bond oh here it is r c h double bond n oh plus h2o the compound formed is called as an aldoxime since since it is obtained from the corresponding aldehyde aldehydes react with hydroxylamine to form white crystalline solids called aldoximes with the elimination of water as the by product molecule if you take acetaldehyde as an example ch3 cho acetaldehyde reacts with hydroxylamine nh2oh o and h2 is eliminated as water what remains will be ch3 ch double bond n single bond oh that is nothing but here it is ch3 ch double bond n single bond oh plus h2o now this product is called as acetaldoxime the oxime formed is acetaldoxime first condensation reaction with hydroxyl amine now the next condensation reaction is with hydrazine you should know the formula of hydrazine as indicated here the formula of hydrogen is nh2 single bond nh2 or n2h4 even if it is written as n2h4 it should be read as hydrazine itself now the reaction with aldehydes rcho yes so aldehydes react with hydrazine once again there should be elimination of water isn't it h2 and o is eliminated as water and in the product you will have the formula rch double bond n single bond nh2 compounds having c double bond n single bond nh2 they are called as hydrazones so aldehydes react with hydrazine to give hydrazones the product is indicated here rch double bond n single bond nh2 plus h2o elimination of water takes place the product formed is called as a hydrazone if you take the example of acetaldehyde ch3 cho is acetaldehyde now acetaldehyde reacts with hydrazine nh2 single bond nh2 there is elimination of o and h2 as water what remains will be ch3 ch double bond n single bond nh2 plus h2o now this product is called as acetaldehyde hydrazone ch3 ch double bond n single bond nh2 plus h2o acetaldehyde hydrazone with the elimination of by product water molecule now this is the second condensation reaction with hydrazine the next condensation reaction is with phenyl hydrazine now the formula of hydrazine is nh2 single bond nh2 as indicated above in that formula if you replace one of the hydrogen by a phenyl group i hope you all remember a phenyl group c6h5 is called as phenyl group you will get the formula of phenyl hydrazine which is given by c6h5 nh nh2 will be the formula of phenyl hydrazine now aldehydes react with phenyl hydrazine the formula of aldehyde is rcho once again reacts with phenyl hydrazine c6h5 nh nh2 so the elimination takes place here as o and h2 is eliminated as water and the product formed will have the formula I'll just show it yes r c h double bond here you should continue n where h2 is eliminated 
ഡബിൾ ബോണ്ട് എൻ സിംഗിൾ ബോണ്ട് എൻ എച്ച് സി സിക്സ് എച്ച് ഫൈവ് വിൽ ബി ദ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് സോ ഫ്രം ഹിയർ ആർ സി എച്ച് ഡബിൾ ബോണ്ട് ഇ എൻ ബിക്കോസ് എച്ച് ടു ഇസ് എലിമിനേറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ദിസ് എൻഡ് സിംഗിൾ ബോണ്ട് എൻ എച്ച് സി സിക്സ് എച്ച് ഫൈവ് and those products are called as phenyl hydrazones if you look to the product here the structure is rch double bond n single bond nh c6h5 plus h2o so the product formed is phenyl hydrazone yes elimination of water takes place and you will get the product as phenyl hydrazones if you take the example of acetaldehyde ch3 cho with the phenyl hydrazine just look here once again o and h2 is eliminated as water the product will have the formula ch3 ch double bond n from here you should continue single bond nh c6h5 so acetaldehyde phenyl hydrazone the product formed will be yes here is the structure ch3 ch double bond n nh c6h5 that is acetaldehyde phenyl hydrazone plus h2o so this is the third condensation reaction and the last condensation reaction is with semi carboxide now at first you should know the formula of semi carboxide as indicated here it is nh2 nh c double bond o nh2 which is called as semi carboxide now aldehydes react with semi carboxide r ch is the general formula of an aldehyde and semi carboxide has the formula nh2 nh c double bond o nh2 the products formed are called as semi carboxones i will just show you how the elimination takes place as indicated here it is h2 and o will be eliminated as water the product formed will be r c h double bond n single bond n h c o n h2 the remaining part remains as it is r c h double bond n single bond n h c double bond o n h2 plus h2 o by product water so the product formed is called as semi carboxone aldehydes react with semi carboxide to form the product called as semi carboxone if you take acetaldehyde as an example ch3 cho with semi carboxide nh2 nh co nh2 once again o and h2 is eliminated as water the product formed will be ch3 ch double bond n single bond nh c double bond o nh2 plus h2o here it is the product formed so here the product formed is called as acetaldehyde semi carboxone these are the four condensation reactions first is with hydroxylamine next is with hydrazine then with phenyl hydrazine and with semi carboxide so we have discussed with the two sets of reactions the first set addition reaction and the second set is condensation reaction now the third set of reactions are oxidation reactions which i will continue in the next class i will stop here thank you